Hello and welcome Taurus. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. All right, so Taurus, we're going to be taking a look into confessions, something that you need to know. This could be from a loved one, from um, someone you're in a relationship with, um, you know, lover, best friend, family member, you know, whatever. Um, this can also be from a secret admirer, you know, whatever this is. This could even be, like I said, doesn't even have to be about relationship, anything. It's just whatever somebody is keeping from you that you need to know. All right, so keep in mind this is a general reading, so not everything may resonate with your situation, and that's okay. Just take what does and leave the rest. All right, Taurus, um, first off, I have to say, I feel like a lot of you are feeling very exhausted, very tired, or it's just like you're tired of something because I keep getting tired coming across. All right, bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Wands. So yeah, somebody is definitely kind of... Kind of holding back, um, kind of feeling closed off. You have Temperance, Death, Three of Cups, and then the Emperor card. So I definitely kind of do feel like, again, somebody's um, somebody's closed off, but they, they do want to either talk to you about something, they've seen something, you know, we'll definitely get into it. Um, with Temperance and Death, again, I keep getting one-sided. I also keep getting, you know, I don't know if this is you, Taurus, but it, somebody feels like they're just really kind of sacrificing, having to, you know, really just, I keep getting taking on a lot, taking off or biting off more than they can chew is what I keep getting. But this kind of feels like your energy. It's like you're, you're taking on way too much. Like I said, I, I just keep getting like needing to pull back. Hmm. It kind of feels like somebody wants to reconcile. I kind of feel like somebody's been watching you, um, watching your social media, possibly trying to reach out. That's not going to resonate for everybody because I don't feel like a lot of people have taken action to do so just yet. But I do feel like as far as one confession goes, somebody wants to reach out. Somebody wants to reconcile. Somebody didn't want a relationship to end. Um, we have the Sun card, we have Four of Cups, and we have the Star card. Yeah, so you may have tried to reach out to this person, Taurus, and it was just like no response back with that Four of Cups. Um, this person could be in the process of their own healing, or, you know, we have the Star and then we have the Sun. You know, this person kind of seems to be doing, I keep getting self-discovery. Um, with the sun card, I do feel like you're going to be getting some answers. I do feel like you're going to be getting some kind of clarity to this situation. I just feel like right now this person isn't ready to reach out. Hmm. All right. The death card, we have the nine of pentacles we have the king of cups and we have the four of pentacles. Okay. I keep getting somebody looking to you to kind of balance their scales um, because I keep getting somebody struggling here and they're kind of looking at you to either help them out or something. Um, again, this I keep getting this coming in like two ways, so just kind of bear with me. Um, I keep getting, you know, again, there's like a relationship here, possibly long distance, and it's... I keep getting air and water. Um, but again, possibly long distance, but it just kind of feels like they're holding back. They want to reconnect. They want to reconcile. But at the same time, they're not quite ready yet because I feel like they're still kind of on a journey of self-discovery, still kind of figuring out their own stability. Um, this person, again, it kind of seems like a little off balanced. Um, but I feel like, you know, you've tried to reach out and it just looks like they're either ignoring you or they're just, they're not, you know, giving you anything. So it's just like, okay, you really feel like the situation is done and over when in reality, this person can't get past you. They're still struggling to move on. Um, but they just don't know how to communicate that. All right. Clarifying the three of cups, we have the seven of cups, nine of swords, and then we have the full card. Hmm. See, I keep getting a lot of worry. I keep getting a lot of frustration. Um, I kind of keep getting you being in your own way, almost self-sabotaging here, Taurus. Um, hmm. I keep getting you need to watch your finances. 
So be a little bit frugal, uh, possibly going into August. Watch those finances. If anybody needs to borrow money or is asking to borrow money, you may have to just say, look, I can't do this right now um, because I keep getting something about money. With the Seven of Cups, Nine of Swords, and the Fool card, like I said, I do feel like somebody has is kind of struggling with a lot of anxiety. Um, I do feel like this person has some options, needs to kind of make up their mind about what they want to do. Like I said, it kind of feels like somebody's really kind of figuring some things out for themselves, um, really kind of doing some soul searching. But I do feel like this person does want to start over. They just, they're not at, quite at that place yet. It's like there's still some healing that needs to take place. I keep getting a lot of fear. Clarifying the Emperor, we have the Hermit, yeah, exactly, like I said, doing some soul searching. Um, Ten of Wands, Eight of Swords, yeah, trying to, I keep getting regain their strength, wanting to reach out, but just not taking action to do so just yet. Um, Eight of Swords, really kind of overthinking, kind of feeling stuck or trapped. With the Ten of Wands, you know, carrying a lot of overwhelming burdens on their shoulder, and I kind of feel like it's going both ways. Um, you know, for them, yes, of course, but that's not what they're telling you, but it, it also feels like it's taking a toll on you with the hermit. You know, again, I do feel like this person is doing some soul searching, but they're not opening up. They're not telling you anything. And I think that's what's so, you know, cumbersome to you. Because it feels like this person is trying, I keep getting like trials and tribulations. It's like they're going through a pretty tough time, which I mean, that makes sense because Nine of Wands was on the bottom um, of the first card deck here, the main deck. Again, I feel like this person wants to reach out. They want to apologize because I feel like you've reached out to them and they either like left it on red, ignored it, blocked you something because this person is feeling closed off. I feel like you're kind of feeling confused about the situation, about the relationship, um, you know, confused. And I feel like you're kind of struggling as well. Yeah. I keep getting like what this person wants to confess is they're not in a, in a good place right now. Um, you know, mentally, emotionally, possibly even financially. They just feel stuck. They feel like there's a lot of things. I keep getting for some of them. This is possibly doing some shadow work or like dark night of the soul type of things. Um, again, really having to do some soul searching too, trying to figure some things out, but it kind of feels like this person needs to do it alone. Could possibly be an age difference between you and this person. This person could have possibly been a little, or somebody with, I think, I shouldn't say this person, but there's definitely some kind of codependency going on here. I keep getting like enabler, um, you know, and I know we all, you know, when we love someone, you know, we love them hard. You know, we want to make sure that they have everything that they need, that they're taken care of. We don't want to see our loved ones struggle, but sometimes, you know, especially if they're, they're not telling us the full story or, you know, we keep enabling, it's not helping the behavior, it's not helping the addiction, or it's not helping, you know, whatever that root cause is. And that's what I keep getting with this. It's like you just want to help, like you have really good intentions here, Taurus. Um, but it just kind of feels like your person right now, they're not in the best place. But they don't know how to tell you that, and that's something they'd like to confess to you. But at the same time, they're, they're kind of just hoping that you view them as having everything together and just moving forward. Um, bottom of the deck, yeah, separation. This separation is definitely taking a toll on them. Again, I feel like that's another confession of theirs, but they're just not ready to say it yet. We have surrender, we have stuck, and we have awakening. So, you know, again, I that's something I kept getting, especially when someone goes through a dark night of the soul. You know, pretty soon it's they go through that because there is going to be an awakening of some kind. Um, currently, your person does feel very stuck. With surrender, this is what they need to do. They need to surrender. They need to release. They need to let go. They're hanging on to so much stuff, and it is so overwhelming for this person. Um, you know, Taurus, like I said, you, you can't even help them at this point. This is something that they need to do on their own. But again, I feel like they're kind of pushing people away, especially you. And I feel like that's what really hurts you because you're like, how could you, 
you know, pushed me away of all people. Like I've always been there or like I've always been encouraging or, you know, I know I've made mistakes, but you know, and it just kind of feels like, you know, yeah, see divine intervention. Um, I almost said it kind of feels like a tower moment. And then this card comes out. Yeah, definitely. Divine intervention is, you know, changes taking place. Yes. Bottom of the deck time is of the essence. Yeah. Everybody's timing is differently though. This is a general reading. Um, with divine intervention, like I said, it's kind of like that tower moment. That's what I feel like is going on here. I feel like this person has to go through this to get to their awakening. Um, because they, there's a lot that they're, like I said, really holding on to that needs to just be released, that needs to be let go of. And I feel like, you know, the only way this person is really gonna get to that awakening, get to that, um, almost like that Hierophant card is through this tower moment, kind of hitting rock bottom. So even though there's someone that you desperately love, you know, you, you just want to, you know, you want to help, you want the best for, you don't want to see them struggle. It's something that they have to do on their own. Um, and Taurus, like I said, I feel like they want to reach out to you. They want to tell you everything that's going on with them. You know, they want to tell you what they're feeling, but at the same time, they're just so closed off. They don't know how it's like, I don't want to communicate right now. I want to, but then I don't. It's like, I keep going back and forth. Um, I, and I think I keep going back and forth because I keep getting like unfinished business between the two of you, between this connection. So I don't think this connection is entirely done. I feel like you're going to be getting some answers, some clarity from this person. But again, there's a lot of work that they need to do. Yeah, see, reconciliation. Bottom of the deck is confidence. Um, you know, again, this is also kind of talking about taking care of you, making sure that, you know, you are taking care of yourself. Like I said, pull back when you need to, because it kind of feels like this person's energy can sometimes be very draining on you. Um, it's, and I think that's why this person kind of pulled away. It's almost like, I don't want my problems to be your problems. Um, or I keep getting like, these are not my proudest moments and I don't want you to see them. So again, it kind of feels like that's what they want to confess is that they're just having, you know, really difficult time. I keep getting some kind of loss. I keep, you know, getting again, some kind of struggle or burden, but it's like, they don't want to, I just keep getting, being very closed off. We have April, we have stop obsessing and then we have September. So this could have possibly, something could have happened in April or April could have some kind of meaning um, or it could possibly go till April of 2022 before you hear from this person. Um, stop obsessing. You know, again, this is kind of just saying like surrender, just kind of release it, let it go. Like I said, there's nothing you can really help this person with. It's something that you've got to do on their own. Um, and that's why there's the, the separation right now, the kind of break in connection for right now, because we do have reconciliation. Um, you may possibly be hearing from this person in September, or again, you get some kind of news or something along the lines of September. And that's only a couple months away. So, you know, again, definitely take it how it resonates, but that's just kind of what I'm getting. That's what's coming through to me. Um, and I'm going to take this because we have spring and again, April. Spring could be very relevant. April, you know, again, maybe that's when the two of you stopped talking. Maybe that's when something changed. You felt some kind of shift in energy. Because again, that, that's just kind of what I'm picking up on. Like something changed, something happened. And it doesn't have to be April, but definitely sometime in spring. But again, like I said, I just kind of feel like you're, you're worrying. You're kind of stressing yourself out to something that you can't, you don't have control over something that you can't do. Like I said, it's, it's really up to this person. So, all right, Taurus, that is what I have for you. Um, so hopefully this helps, gives you a little bit of insight. You know, that's what this person wants to confess. You know, they will eventually come back and tell you what's going on. But right now they just, they've got to be closed off. They've got to do this, do this themselves. So, all right, Taurus, but I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And as always, take care.